Hello everyone, and welcome to this video. Today we're diving into a fascinating topic that connects two seemingly unrelated areas of mathematics, the Euler-Zeta formula and a new concept called virtual numbers. Let's get started. First, let's talk about the Euler-Zeta formula. This formula, discovered by the legendary mathematician Leonhard Euler, gives us a way to compute the values of the Riemann zeta function at even positive integers. The formula looks like this. Zeta of 2n equals negative 1 raised to the power of n plus 1 times the Bernoulli number b sub 2n times 2 pi raised to the power of 2n, all divided by 2 times 2n factorial. Let's break it down. Zeta of 2n is the Riemann zeta function evaluated at even integers like 2, 4, 6, and so on. b sub 2n are the Bernoulli numbers, a special sequence of rational numbers that appear in many areas of mathematics. Pi is the famous mathematical constant, approximately equal to 3.1416. 2n factorial is the product of all positive integers up to 2n. For example, when n equals 1, the formula gives us zeta of 2 equals pi squared divided by 6. This is a well-known result in mathematics, but what if we could reinterpret this formula using a new kind of number? That's where virtual numbers come in. Now let's introduce virtual numbers. In this system, we define a new number j, and as j equals the natural logarithm of negative 1. Wait, what does that mean? Well, in standard mathematics, the natural logarithm of a negative number isn't defined, but in this virtual system, we're extending the rules to allow it. From this definition, we can derive some interesting properties. 1. e to the power of j equals negative 1, because e raised to the natural logarithm of negative 1 equals negative 1. 2. The imaginary unit i, which satisfies i squared equals negative 1, can be expressed as i equals e to the power of j divided by 2. 3. The constant pi can be rewritten in terms of j, pi equals j divided by i, which is the same as j divided by e to the power of j divided by 2. Virtual numbers also have unique arithmetic rules. For example, 2j equals 0, because the natural logarithm of negative 1 plus the natural logarithm of negative 1 equals the natural logarithm of 1, which is 0. 3j equals j, because the natural logarithm of negative 1 plus the natural logarithm of negative 1 plus the natural logarithm of negative 1 equals the natural logarithm of negative 1, which is j. These properties make virtual numbers a powerful tool for reinterpreting mathematical formulas. Now let's use virtual numbers to reinterpret the Euler-Zeta formula. Here's the original formula again. Zeta of 2n equals negative 1 raised to the power of n plus 1 times the Bernoulli number b sub 2n times 2 pi raised to the power of 2n, all divided by 2 times 2n factorial. In the virtual number system, 1. Replace negative 1 raised to the power of n plus 1 with e to the power of j times n plus 1, because e to the power of j equals negative 1. 2. Replace pi with j divided by e to the power of j divided by 2. Substituting these into the formula, we get minus zeta of 2n equals e to the power of j times n plus 1 times the Bernoulli number b sub 2n times 2 raised to the power of 2n times j raised to the power of 2n, all divided by 2 times 2n factorial. Simplifying further, we can write zeta of 2n equals e to the power of j times the Bernoulli number b sub 2n times 2 raised to the power of 2n times j raised to the power of 2n, all divided by 2 times 2n factorial. This is the virtual Euler-Zeta formula. It's the same as the original formula, but expressed entirely in terms of virtual numbers. Let's test this formula with some examples. Substitute n equals 1 into the virtual Euler-Zeta formula. Minus zeta of 2 equals e to the power of j times 1 plus 1, times the Bernoulli number b sub 2, times 2 raised to the power of 2, times j raised to the power of 2, all divided by 2 times 2 factorial. Simplify e to the power of j times 2. Minus e to the power of j times 2 equals e to the power of j all squared, which equals negative 1 squared, which is 1. We know b sub 2 equals 1 sixth, so my zeta of 2 equals 1 times 1 sixth, times 4 times j squared, all divided by 4. This simplifies to j squared divided by 6. But wait! Since e to the power of j equals negative 1, we can also write zeta of 2 equals e to the power of j times j squared, all divided by 6. This is the virtual number version of zeta of 2 equals pi squared divided by 6. Now let's substitute n equals 0 into the formula. 
9 is zeta of 0 equals e to the power of j times 0 plus 1 times the Bernoulli number b sub 0 times 2 raised to the power of 0 times j raised to the power of 0, all divided by 2 times 0 factorial. Simplify e to the power of j times 1. e to the power of j times 1 equals e to the power of j, which equals negative 1. We know b sub 0 equals 1, 2 raised to the power of 0 equals 1, j raised to the power of 0 equals 1, and 0 factorial equals 1. So um, omnina zeta of 0 equals e to the power of j times 1 times 1 times 1, all divided by 2 times 1. This simplifies to e to the power of j divided by 2. Since e to the power of j equals negative 1, this matches the known value of zeta of 0 equals negative 1 half. These examples show how the virtual Euler zeta formula works in practice. Virtual numbers open up exciting possibilities for exploring mathematics in new ways. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more content like this. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.